Honda S2000 is a name that resonates deeply with automotive enthusiasts, a symbol of Honda's engineering prowess and its commitment to creating cars that offer pure driving pleasure. After a hiatus that lasted more than a decade, the iconic Roadster is making a comeback, a fact recently confirmed by Honda's CEO, Toshihiro Maiba. The revival of the Honda S2000 is not just another car launch, it represents a bold statement from Honda, re-entering a competitive sports car market that has seen dramatic shifts over the past few years. The return of the S2000 is not only a nod to the past, but also a strategic move to position Honda in the future of sports car innovation. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. The original Honda S2000, first launched in 1999, quickly garnered a cult following. It was admired for its high-revving, naturally aspirated engine, a 2.0-liter inline-four that could scream up to 9,000 revolutions per minute, providing an unmatched driving experience. The car's handling dynamics, a perfect 50, 50 weight distribution, and a precise six-speed manual transmission were complemented by Honda's commitment to keeping the S2000 lightweight and agile. Its production ceased in 2009, marking the end of an era for fans of the raw, unfiltered sports car. Over the years, the longing for a successor has grown among enthusiasts, a desire amplified by the dearth of affordable, lightweight, and engaging sports cars in the market. Under the leadership of Toshihiro Mibe, Honda has signaled a renewed focus on performance and electrification. The decision to bring back the S2000 fits perfectly within this new direction. Maibi, who took over as CEO in 2021, has been vocal about Honda's ambitions to embrace electrification while maintaining the brand's legacy of producing fun-to-drive cars. The new S2000 is expected to embody this philosophy, combining the essence of the original model with modern advancements. While exact specifications remain under wraps, there is speculation that the revived S2000 will feature a hybrid powertrain allowing Honda to balance performance with efficiency, a necessary adaptation in today's automotive landscape. The return of the Honda S2000 must also be viewed in the context of the broader sports car market. In recent years, several automakers have either introduced new models or revived older ones, aiming to capture the hearts of enthusiasts. Toyota, for example, resurrected its legendary Supra in 2019 after a 17-year hiatus, partnering with BMW to create a modern sports car that blends Japanese and German engineering. Similarly, Nissan has been steadfast in evolving its Z-Series, culminating in the launch of the new Nissan Z in 2021. These cars, along with Mazda's enduring MX-5 Miata, have kept the spirit of affordable, driver-focused sports cars alive. Honda's S2000 will re-enter this competitive space, and it will have to offer something compelling to stand out. When considering what makes the S2000 unique, one cannot ignore its inherent purity. The original model's lightweight design, exceptional balance, and high revving engine delivered a visceral driving experience that is rare in modern cars. Many automotive purists are hoping that Honda will retain these core elements in the new S2000. However, the challenge will be incorporating modern safety features emissions standards, and technological advancements without compromising the car's character. This is a delicate balancing act that Honda must execute perfectly. If Honda decides to go the hybrid route, as is widely speculated, the company will need to ensure that the added weight from batteries and electric motors does not detract from the S2000's renowned handling dynamics. The potential powertrain options for the new S2000 have been a hot topic among car enthusiasts and industry analysts alike. One plausible option could be a downsized turbocharged engine paired with an electric motor, similar to the powertrain layout in the latest Honda Civic Type R. Such a configuration would allow Honda to meet stringent emissions regulations while still delivering a thrilling driving experience. The hybrid setup could also enable features like torque vectoring, enhancing handling performance. Another possibility, albeit less likely given Honda's current focus on electrification, could be a purely internal combustion engine, ICE variant, sticking more closely to the formula of the original. However, a fully electric S2000, while ambitious, would represent a complete departure from its heritage. Honda is not entering the revived sports car market blind. It is acutely aware of the lessons learned from other manufacturers, 
When Toyota reintroduced the Supra, it faced mixed reactions due to its partnership with BMW and the use of a BMW engine and platform. While the car performed admirably, some purists felt it lacked the distinct Toyota DNA. Honda will likely take these criticisms to heart, ensuring that the new S2000 remains authentically Honda in its engineering and spirit. Moreover, with Mazda continuing to evolve the MX-5 Miata, still widely regarded as one of the best driver's cars for the money, Honda has a clear benchmark for lightweight sports car excellence. The new S2000 will need to offer a unique proposition, potentially leveraging its expected hybrid powertrain to deliver a different kind of driving experience. The timing of this announcement is also noteworthy. The automotive industry is at a crossroads, with electrification and autonomous driving technology taking center stage. While many manufacturers are focusing on electric SUVs and crossovers to meet consumer demand and regulatory requirements, Honda's decision to revive the S2000 indicates a commitment to keeping the brand's performance DNA alive. The move can be seen as a strategy to retain and grow its base of enthusiasts, ensuring that Honda remains relevant to those who prioritize driving pleasure over practicality. At the same time, this revival could also help Honda diversify its lineup, providing a halo effect that benefits its more mainstream models. Sports cars, while often low in sales volume, can significantly enhance a brand's image. A successful new S2000 could serve as a gateway for younger customers to develop an affinity for Honda, especially in a market where brand loyalty is becoming increasingly important. If executed well, the S2000 could embody the best of both worlds, heritage and innovation, helping Honda carve out a distinct identity in the evolving automotive landscape. Furthermore, Honda's decision to revive the S2000 aligns with its competitive stance against brands that have consistently innovated within the sports car segment. BMW continues to refine its M Division models, and Porsche's 718 Boxster and Cayman remain benchmarks in the compact sports car market. For Honda, the challenge is not just to bring back a beloved nameplate, but to ensure the new S2000 is competitive against these established players. With advanced engineering, Honda has the potential to introduce groundbreaking features that could redefine what a lightweight sports car can be. For instance, integrating an advanced hybrid system that enhances both performance and fuel efficiency could set the S2000 apart as a forward-thinking sports car in a sea of traditionalists. As with any highly anticipated launch, the new Honda S2000's pricing strategy will be crucial. The sports car market has a wide range, from the relatively affordable Mazda MX-5 Miata to the more premium Porsche 718. Honda will need to carefully position the S2000 to ensure it offers value without alienating its core audience. If the car is priced too high, it risks being out of reach for the very enthusiasts it seeks to attract. Conversely, pricing it too low could undermine its premium aspirations and potentially affect the perceived quality of the vehicle. A critical component of the S2000's success will also lie in how Honda chooses to market the vehicle. Given the legacy of the S2000, there is a rich history to draw upon, tapping into the nostalgia of past owners and fans. However, Honda must also appeal to a new generation of drivers who may not be familiar with the original model. Modern marketing strategies could include digital campaigns that highlight the car's advanced hybrid technology, innovative design, an unparalleled driving experience. Additionally, leveraging motorsport and car culture events could help build excitement among potential buyers, reinforcing the S2000's position as a driver's car. The revival of the Honda S2000 comes at a time when the automotive industry is grappling with a generational shift. Younger buyers are increasingly interested in electric vehicles and advanced technology, which presents a challenge for a sports car that traditionally thrives on mechanical purity. However, by potentially offering a hybrid or even electric variant, Honda could bridge the gap between these seemingly opposing worlds. This approach could make the S2000 not just a throwback to simpler times, but a forward-looking sports car that satisfies both purists and tech-savvy consumers. Honda's challenge will be to stay true to the essence of the original S2000 while adapting to a rapidly changing automotive world. It is a delicate balance between past and future, but if Honda gets it right, the S2000 could once again become an icon, not just for its engine and handling, but for its innovation and vision. As the automotive world waits with bated breath, the anticipation builds for what could be one of the most significant sports car revivals of this decade.
The announcement of the Honda S2000's return has undoubtedly generated considerable excitement, not just among enthusiasts, but also within the broader automotive industry. The decision to revive such a storied model comes at a time when the automotive landscape is undergoing a transformative shift. While we previously discussed the potential specifications, market positioning, and competitive context of the new S2000, there are still numerous angles to explore, including Honda's strategic goals, potential design philosophies, future technologies that could influence the model, and how Honda could differentiate the S2000 from other cars in its lineup and the industry. Honda's decision to bring back the S2000 is not simply a nostalgic move. It is part of a broader strategy to revitalize its performance-oriented image. Over the past decade, Honda has been heavily focused on mass-market vehicles like the Civic, Accord, and CR-V, which have provided the company with substantial sales volume and stability. However, this focus has sometimes come at the expense of Honda's reputation as a manufacturer of exciting driver-focused cars. With the announcement of the S2000's revival, Honda is aiming to reassert itself in the sports car segment and leverage this opportunity to strengthen its brand image. From a strategic perspective, the reintroduction of the S2000 is part of a multifaceted approach to capture different segments of the market. By combining their expertise in creating accessible mass market vehicles with the development of a niche sports car, Honda aims to demonstrate its capability to innovate across multiple domains. The S2000's return could serve as a flagship model that showcases Honda's advanced engineering, appealing not only to traditional enthusiasts, but also to a younger, more technologically savvy audience that appreciates both performance and sustainability. This is particularly important in today's automotive market, where younger buyers are often looking for cars that align with their values, which include not just performance, but also environmental responsibility. Honda's move can also be viewed as a way to generate halo effects, where a particular model elevates the perception of the brand as a whole. Other manufacturers have successfully utilized Halo cars to enhance their brands. For instance, Nissan has consistently used the GTR to promote its engineering capabilities and attract attention to its more accessible models. Similarly, Toyota's revival of the Supra has generated interest that trickles down to its other vehicles. By bringing back the S2000, Honda could create a similar effect, where the excitement around a high-performance, enthusiast-oriented car could elevate the brand's image across all its models, from the fit to the pilot. The design of the new Honda S2000 will be a critical factor in determining its success. The original S2000 was celebrated for its clean, minimalist design that prioritized function over form, creating a timeless silhouette that still looks modern today. For the new S2000, Honda has the challenge of creating a design that pays homage to the original while embracing the future of automotive styling. The approach will likely involve a combination of retro-inspired elements and futuristic design cues that align with contemporary automotive trends. One potential direction could be to draw inspiration from Honda's recent concept cars, such as the Honda Sports EV concept unveiled a few years ago. This concept car combined a retro-inspired design with a modern twist, featuring clean lines, a low-slung body, and advanced aerodynamic elements. The concept's electric powertrain also hints at how Honda could integrate electrification into the new S2000's design without sacrificing the spirit of a classic roadster. While the S2000 is likely to retain its iconic front-engine, rear-wheel drive layout, Elements like advanced aerodynamics, lightweight materials, and a modernized interior could set it apart from competitors and establish a new design language for Honda sports cars. Moreover, the interior design will play a significant role in defining the new S2000. The original model was known for its driver-centric cockpit, with a minimalist dashboard that emphasized functionality and ease of use. In today's market, however, consumers expect a blend of simplicity and advanced technology. Honda could potentially integrate a digital driver's display, touchscreen infotainment, and advanced connectivity features while maintaining the S2000's essence as a driver's car. Striking this balance between modern conveniences and a purist driving experience will be key to winning over both new customers and longtime fans of the brand. As the automotive industry shifts towards electrification, 
Honda's approach to integrating future technologies into the new S2000 will be a defining factor. The original S2000 was lauded for its naturally aspirated high revving engine, a feature that might seem at odds with modern trends towards downsizing and electrification. However, Honda's engineering team has a history of developing innovative solutions that meet the demands of the time without compromising the core values of their vehicles. One possible avenue Honda could explore is the implementation of a performance-oriented hybrid system. Unlike traditional hybrids that prioritize fuel efficiency, Honda could design a hybrid powertrain that focuses on enhancing performance. By using electric motors to provide instant torque at lower RPMs, Honda could effectively address one of the criticisms of the original S2000, its lack of low-end torque. This setup would allow for a more flexible power delivery while preserving the thrilling high-revving characteristics that defined the original car. Another potential direction is the integration of advanced regenerative braking systems that not only contribute to overall efficiency, but also enhance the driving experience. For instance, by allowing the driver to adjust the level of regenerative braking, Honda could provide a more dynamic and customizable driving experience that aligns with the sporty nature of the S2000. Additionally, innovations such as active aerodynamics, lightweight battery technologies, and next-generation materials could further differentiate the S2000 from its competitors. Given Honda's recent forays into electric vehicles, such as the Honda E-City car, there is also a remote possibility of an all-electric version of the S2000. An electric S2000 would certainly be a radical departure from the original, but it would represent a bold statement about Honda's commitment to the future of mobility. By leveraging its experience with electric vehicle platforms, Honda could potentially develop an electric sports car that offers immediate torque, exceptional handling due to a low center of gravity, and innovative features like torque vectoring. However, the company would need to carefully consider the implications of such a move as an all-electric S2000 would need to maintain the driving purity that fans expect. With the reintroduction of the S2000, Honda will also need to carefully position the car within its existing lineup. Currently, Honda's performance offerings are led by the Civic Type R, a highly capable front-wheel drive hot hatch that has earned accolades for its handling, performance, and practicality. While the Civic Type R caters to enthusiasts looking for a versatile performance car, the S2000 will appeal to a different segment, those who prioritize a more purist rear-wheel drive sports car experience. To avoid any potential overlap, Honda must clearly distinguish the S2000 from the Civic Type R in terms of both performance and driving dynamics. While the Civic Type R offers practicality and a front-wheel drive layout optimized for hot hatch enthusiasts, the S2000 will likely focus on delivering an unadulterated rear-wheel drive experience. This distinction will be crucial for potential buyers who may be cross-shopping between the two models. For example, while the Civic Type R is known for its aggressive turbocharged performance, the S2000 could carve out a niche with a naturally aspirated or hybrid powertrain that emphasizes high revving power delivery and a balanced chassis. Furthermore, Honda could use the S2000 to experiment with new technologies that could later trickle down to more mainstream models. For instance, the development of lightweight composite materials, advanced suspension systems, and driver assist technologies tailored for high performance driving could set the stage for future Honda models to benefit from these innovations. This trickle-down effect has been successfully used by other manufacturers to enhance their broader lineup. For example, BMW's M division and Mercedes AMG have often introduced cutting-edge technologies in their high-performance models before making them available in more affordable vehicles. Beyond the technical and strategic considerations, Honda's approach to marketing and community engagement will play a pivotal role in the new S2000's success. The original S2000 developed a strong enthusiast following, a community that has remained loyal to the model even years after its production ended. Tapping into this existing fan base while also reaching out to a new generation of car enthusiasts will be key to generating excitement and anticipation ahead of the launch. One strategy Honda could employ is leveraging its motorsport heritage to promote the new S2000. Historically, Honda has been deeply involved in various forms of motorsport, from Formula One to grassroots racing. By emphasizing the connection between the S2000 and Honda's racing pedigree, 
the company could reinforce the car's performance credentials and appeal to those who see driving as more than just a mode of transportation. For instance, developing a race-ready variant of the S2000 for use in touring car championships or time attack events could provide a platform to showcase the car's capabilities and build its reputation among performance enthusiasts. Additionally, Honda could create a series of events or promotional campaigns that focus on the driving experience itself, hosting track days, driver training programs, and special test drive events for potential customers would allow them to experience firsthand what makes the S2000 unique. This approach not only engages the enthusiast community, but also provides valuable feedback that can be used to refine and improve the vehicle before its official release. Honda's decision to revive the S2000 is not just a product strategy, but a multifaceted move that intersects branding, technological innovation, and market positioning. To delve deeper, let's explore several dimensions of this revival that have yet to be fully discussed. Potential collaborations and partnerships, manufacturing challenges and solutions, marketing strategies in the digital era, the environmental implications of the S2000's return, its cultural impact, and the potential for a broader sports car renaissance led by Honda. As the automotive landscape becomes more complex and competitive, many car manufacturers have opted to form strategic partnerships to pool resources, share technology, and reduce costs. Honda, a company known for its independence, has selectively engaged in collaborations when it aligns with its core philosophies and objectives. The new S2000 could benefit greatly from such a partnership, particularly in the realm of advanced propulsion systems. For instance, a partnership with a tech-savvy company like Sony, which has shown interest in automotive ventures through its Vision S concept car, could bring cutting-edge in-car technology and entertainment systems to the S2000. Such a collaboration could yield a revolutionary infotainment and digital interface that is both intuitive and highly functional, combining Sony's expertise in consumer electronics with Honda's automotive know-how. Alternatively, Honda could look to a traditional automotive partner like General Motors, with whom it has already collaborated on fuel cell technology and electric vehicle development. A deeper collaboration with GM could allow Honda to access GM's Ultium battery technology, which could be adapted to provide a lightweight, high-performance battery pack for a hybrid or electric variant of the S2000. Another intriguing possibility is a collaboration with another Japanese automaker such as Mazda. Both Honda and Mazda share a common philosophy of driver-centric engineering and have historically produced some of the most revered lightweight sports cars. A joint venture focused on developing new lightweight materials, chassis tuning, or even powertrain technologies could significantly enhance the S2000's development. Such a partnership would not only optimize costs, but also combine the strengths of both companies, Honda's prowess in powertrain development and Mazda's expertise in chassis dynamics, to create a sports car that sets new standards in the segment. Reintroducing the Honda S2000 also poses significant manufacturing challenges, especially considering the shift in automotive production towards electric vehicles and the gradual phasing out of internal combustion engines in many regions. Manufacturing a low-volume, high-performance sports car like the S2000 will require a specialized production line, potentially at one of Honda's existing plants. However, this poses a challenge. How to maintain cost efficiency while ensuring high-quality standards for a niche product? One solution could involve modular manufacturing, where Honda could leverage flexible production techniques that allow multiple models to be built on the same line. This would enable the S2000 to share components and manufacturing processes with other models, reducing costs while maintaining a high level of customization and specialization. For example, Honda could use a modular platform that accommodates both hybrid and fully electric powertrains, similar to how Volkswagen uses its MEB platform for multiple electric models. Additionally, Honda could explore innovative materials and manufacturing processes to ensure the S2000 remains lightweight yet strong. The use of carbon fiber, aluminum, and other composite materials could help reduce weight without compromising structural integrity. However, these materials are often costly and difficult to work with. Honda might therefore consider employing newer, cost-effective manufacturing techniques like 3D printing for certain components or using recycled materials to maintain an eco-friendly approach. Moreover, to manage the cost of development and production, 
Honda might consider crowdsourcing some aspects of the S2000's design and development through engagement with its fan base. This could involve design competitions, fan input on certain features, or even a pre-order campaign similar to Tesla's approach with the Cybertruck. Such strategies not only generate excitement and media coverage, but also provide valuable market data that can guide production decisions. In an era where digital marketing reigns supreme, the strategy for promoting the new S2000 will have to evolve beyond traditional advertising methods. Social media, influencer partnerships, and immersive digital experiences are essential to capturing the attention of a younger, tech-savvy audience that is less likely to be swayed by conventional TV commercials or print ads. Honda could launch a comprehensive digital marketing campaign that combines social media teasers, interactive online experiences, and influencer partnerships. For example, Honda could develop a virtual reality VR experience that allows potential customers to drive the new S2000 on iconic roads like the Pacific Coast Highway or the Nürburgring. Such an initiative could create a buzz in the automotive community and attract potential buyers who are looking for a unique sports car experience. Collaborations with well-known automotive influencers and YouTubers could further amplify the campaign. Influencers like Chris Harris, Doug DeMuro, or the folks at Throttle House, who have substantial followings among car enthusiasts, could provide authentic detailed reviews and content that highlight the S2000's design, features, and driving dynamics. A carefully orchestrated launch event streamed online could also generate significant buzz, much like Tesla's high-profile unveilings. Moreover, Honda could leverage augmented reality AR, to provide a digital showroom experience, allowing users to project a life-size 3D model of the S2000 in their driveway or garage using their smartphones. This approach would appeal to the tech-savvy audience and create a deeper connection with the potential customer by bringing the car closer to them, even before they visit a dealership. While sports cars are often criticized for their environmental impact, the new S2000 presents an opportunity for Honda to redefine what a sustainable sports car can be. This is especially relevant in today's climate-conscious society, where the automotive industry is increasingly being held accountable for its carbon footprint. Honda has already committed to achieving carbon neutrality for its entire product line by 2050, and the S2000 can serve as a platform to showcase how performance and sustainability can coexist. Honda could introduce a hybrid version of the S2000 that utilizes the latest in regenerative energy and lightweight battery technology, ensuring that the car maintains its agility and performance. This could be complemented by using sustainable materials in the interior, such as recycled plastics, vegan leather, and responsibly sourced carbon fiber. By combining performance with a low environmental impact, Honda could position the S2000 as a leader in the new generation of sports cars that do not compromise on excitement or sustainability. Another aspect could involve Honda's commitment to life cycle sustainability. This would mean not only focusing on reducing emissions during the car's operation, but also considering the environmental impact of manufacturing, recycling, and disposal. For example, Honda could offer a recycling program for end-of-life S2000 models, or provide incentives for using sustainable materials during repairs and modifications. The S2000 has always been more than just a car. It has been a cultural icon, celebrated in video games, movies, and automotive communities worldwide. Its return could reignite its cultural impact, but in new, perhaps more profound ways. The car culture landscape has evolved significantly since the S2000 was last in production, with a greater emphasis on inclusivity, environmentalism, and digital engagement. The new S2000 has the potential to become a touchstone for a new generation, bridging the gap between car culture's past and its future. Honda could capitalize on the S2000's cultural significance by partnering with media platforms and entertainment franchises to feature the car prominently in popular culture. Consider the impact of the original S2000 in the Fast and Furious franchise, which cemented its status as a street racing icon. Similar opportunities exist today in both traditional media and new digital formats such as virtual car shows, online racing leagues, and digital content creation platforms like Twitch and TikTok. Moreover, 
Honda could tap into the burgeoning interest in automotive customization and modification, which remains a key aspect of car culture. By offering a range of factory-approved aftermarket parts and performance upgrades, Honda could encourage a community-driven approach to vehicle customization. This would not only boost the car's appeal among enthusiasts, but also reinforce its position as a car that can be tailored to individual tastes and driving styles. The revival of the S2000 could have ripple effects across the entire sports car segment, potentially inspiring other manufacturers to bring back their own iconic models or introduce new ones. In a market dominated by SUVs and crossovers, a successful launch of the S2000 could signal to the industry that there is still a viable demand for affordable, engaging sports cars. If the new S2000 succeeds, it could set a precedent that prompts a broader sports car renaissance, with other automakers taking notice and potentially reconsidering their sports car strategies. For instance, Mitsubishi might see an opportunity to revive the Eclipse as a true sports car rather than a crossover, while Toyota could be encouraged to bring back other beloved models like the MR2. Even American manufacturers like Ford and Chevrolet might consider introducing more compact, nimble sports cars to complement their existing performance lineups. Furthermore, a successful S2000 could lead Honda to consider expanding its performance portfolio beyond just one model. We might see the return of other legendary names such as the Prelude or even a new Integra, but with modern technology and design philosophies that reflect the needs and desires of today's consumers. A strong S2000 showing could provide Honda with the confidence to build a comprehensive lineup of performance-oriented vehicles that cater to different niches within the sports car market. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, are you excited about the Honda S2000's return? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.